Well, she won. She asked. She get. Ah, uh, kitchen. I was already starting and realized, hey, why not film that? Might interest some people. I don't know. So I already started. As you can see, each time I open a closet, everything fall down. They're very neat, neatly packed in the back. So, okay, uh, this kitchen was originally, is that, yeah, maybe you'll see that because it's very dirty now because every little lemonade, laminated plastic with rounded edge. There was nothing in front, it was just panels and it was stopping here before. So a couple of years ago, well, five or six, seven years ago, I don't know, I added some molding and had it paneled there then uh, you know kind of molding too because this was a grease collector on top of it we kept putting stuff all over it and uh, yeah it was not fine <coughs> so i did that and uh, it was a good paint but i unfortunately i had some uh, varnish and uh, the varnish turned quite yellowish so uh, it's time to refresh everything so i won't change anything but i have to remove all the doors send them and prep them and repaint them so now i'm in the process of uh, marking each i removed the handles there but most of them are here so remove those um marking which which goes where Primer is dried overnight. Time to apply this paint, which is a broken white, we call it in French. I don't know in English. So, let's paint this joint. Well, started the first coat. It doesn't cover much. Obviously gonna need a second coat. I don't know if it's gonna show in this camera, but uh, there's a big difference. And I got a few switch. Right now, I'm at the point I'm asking myself, why did I start at that? Yeah, you might be wondering why I'm working in my pajamas. Well, it's simple. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> well, I started like that and that's it. I don't have to explain that, I think. I think you, you want to know what I'm doing. So this is TSP. Uh, using the Several little spots here with all the paint and the touch that needs to go. Yeah, the first one might do a little bit more work. And if you get tired at the end, you cut corners. I'm not there yet. 
See these doors? They have a very bright plastic back. So I think I'm gonna leave it there. So first of all paint hardly sticks to it. And secondly, it's okay. So I'm just gonna paint up to this border there wrapping around so I need to scratch that a lot make sure the primer will stick and where's my sandpaper oh, there it is. so scratching it's gonna show but this is a door that uh, has been clean and sanded and that's a door that's been done big difference away like this and uh -huh. there's a spot there That doesn't show. Okay. Sorry for pajamas again. First, I need to do this up to here. Time to put them back together. Doors are back in place. Um, what is left to do is uh, I see all like here. I didn't like there was a bubble, so 
I need to fix a few things. Another thing here, there. A few things here and there. Here, I don't know what happened. It's a missing thing there. So, was it worth removing the doors? Uh, yes, because uh, you cannot paint, you know, behind you, you open it and it'll never be perfect. Well, it's by far not perfect, but uh, it's much better than it was. So this is the conclusion of this uh, little video. As you can see, everything's been painted. It's not perfect like I wish it would be. Uh, I wish I could, you know, spray paint it with uh, good quality paint. It's a good paint. It's a floor paint, so it's supposed to be solid. But it shows the bristle marks and stuff like that. For the harder place, I use I don't know what's uh, what call uh, clear lake clear lake here. Anyway, it's kind of a varnish with the satin finish. You you don't even see it. You, it. It doesn't show it there. You can smell it because it smells a lot. But I made uh, I had uh, at least three or four coats of that on the drawers and on top there, and uh, I kept a bottle of paint for touch-ups because I. Uh, Anywhere I can see, there's always a little spot to have a touch up there. But at least I can touch it up. Uh, before that, there was a small, what was a, like a faux finish. And the faux finish means it was impossible to retouch because I had to match the pattern and stuff. It was impossible to make some touch ups. This way, if I sc scratch it, if I bump it or something, you just have to maybe sand a little bit and repaint down over it. So, quite simple, much cleaner, much neater, I guess. And uh, not such a big work, but um, I'm happy I removed the doors. Uh, that allowed me to paint everywhere around instead of trying to reach little corners and have big blobs of paint and stuff like that. Well, that's about it. See you.